Hey, what's going on? Right, today we've got something a little bit different going on. I'm going to show you how to set up your Contrado Print On Demand store. So if you don't know what that is, or if you're just new to Print On Demand, this is the video for you. So check it out. Right, so here we are then. I'm going to take you over to my computer screen and we're going to have a little look on there and I'm going to show you the sort of step-by-step -step process of just getting these things uploaded because it's a little more uh, complicated than other print-on-demand sites. So let's get to it. Right, so we are over here on the Contrado website and um, as you can see it's just contrado.co.uk. They're a London-based company, so they're based over here in the UK and uh, delivery is pretty good compared to other print-on-demand sites which we'll get around to eventually maybe not in this video but in future videos we'll get to it so anyway to set up your store and upload your first design all you've got to do is uh, click the sell with us button it will take you here start selling fill out your name fill out your email address and follow a couple more steps I can't really remember what they are but there's nothing too complicated in there it, it will ask you for your um, you know when you're setting up the storefront if you're familiar with like Redbubble or Teespring stuff you have to give your storefront you know a name fill out a bio have a banner a logo and set up your payment options and I think there's like six check boxes that you have to do and then you can sort of open no yeah you can open your store after that but only after you've created a product so we're going to get to that next Right, so after you've been through the sign-up process and filled in all your details and given yourself a banner and stuff like that, you'll have your store name down here and zero products, it will say there. So what we're going to do is we're going to change your zero to one. So if we go into create new, yes, this will be the best way to show you if we just start from scratch. So what we'll do is we'll pick quite an intricate product because it's you know these things are just square surfaces you're used to that sort of thing with other print on demand sites sites but um yeah this hoodie dress okay well we could do the umbrella no the hoodie dress actually because they're different parts so you'll land on this screen and you'll be presented with the product options um you don't bother changing any of these because you're creating for every size so what you would do is I forget this first because I like to work with my design first so I'll go in here and I'll choose my picture um, I'll just choose this shark one for now I've already created these products um, so you can see the picture uploads there it's pretty quick work in the web website as well and um, you can use these auto size features these are really handy um, to um, move the picture around and stuff and you can also drag it and stuff so what I like to do is just put it back to the center if it's something that's like a, a pattern or something like that if it's a, a logo or icon print then it's a little bit different and the process is you know slightly different because you'll have to place it up on here so this is the um, if we scroll down a little bit so you can see that this is the front so we'll do the back now and what I like about Contrado is you get to select a picture for every surface and not only that you can put pictures on on top of each other so I can add another image and put it on top of this image to make a new image so you're not limited in that way it's a long-winded process in the sense that you can't just go here's my design oh it's ready on a hundred products but it, it it gives you better overall products it really does creating one at a time and I'll show you some secrets and some tips into how to get things done a little bit quicker as well so I'm um, just noting up here you've got the color as well the background color you can use your hex codes as well so everything's there for you and uh, sleeves so we're doing the left sleeve um, there's that one very simple um, with the right sleeve what I like to do is chuck the picture on then mirror the pattern and I'll just turn that sensitivity up to a little bit a little, a little and shift that along a bit 
so it's facing the other way. You can see where it ends. It doesn't have to be exact for this, but you'd want it to be exact, exactly opposite for your pictures. And that's that's not too bad, actually. It, it's probably a bit too far, but it doesn't matter for this one. So we, we move on to the hood. So the hood, on this one, it does the left and the right on the same time. On some items, you do the left and you do the right separately. And this has also got an inside print for the hood. So we can use that for the inside print too. And I thought there was one more on this one. They seem to have removed the ability to make a label on this product. Let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, usually you can make a label. I don't know what's going on there. They must have changed some things. This um, website is constantly getting updated at the moment, which I have noticed. This is quite nice. Um, but yeah, you'd preview it. And with some items, you can move them down in 3D. Um, some you've just got the front, the back, the sides. Um, but you're able to, you know, look at everything in, in detail. Some of the items, though, I, I, I would like to be able to see this scene. And on uh, some of the items, you can't. Um, but what you'd do, you, you'd save that. And there you go, you've got your first item there. Oh, out of stock. Um, right. And if this is part of your... So this is my Shark Ocean abstract design. So if, if, if I wanted to have more with that design, I can use this button, Generate More Designs. And what it will do is it will think for a little bit and it will generate some more pictures. And it's done a pretty good job on the um, bomber jacket because it has actually, you can see there, it's reversed or mirrored the print on the right sleeve, on the left sleeve to the right sleeve or whatever. But you can see what I mean. And that's a really good way of adding products really quickly. You can go bosh, bosh, bosh. Rev you have to review them all. What I do is I just confirm straight away. And if they do look funny, I'm gonna go into them all anyway. So that's that's a quick way of having three more products there and then. And it will just save those. There we go. The process doesn't take too long. And what you can do is you can go into edit these and edit them the same way as we made the hoodie dress. But another thing you can also do is if we wanted to generate more designs, you didn't want the Master Bomber Jacket or the Espadrillas. Espadrillas, I don't know how to pronounce that properly. You can go in here and generate any of their 450 designs. I just clicked random tea light holder. There you go. Got a tea light holder now. Preview and confirm. Done. That's your tea light holder done. Things like that with a single surface are, are pretty easy. It's these intricate ones. And as you can see, the label thing on there, I, I've got a label on this one, but not on this one. So yeah, they're, they're constantly changing some stuff. I, I reckon the labels will be back. Because um, they, it's really good for your personal branding and your 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 business branding. And right, so these aren't for sale yet. They are created, but they are not for sale. What you'd need to do now is I'm going to take this tea light holder and I'm going to add it to Serial Carnage Contrado dot UK. That's my store. If you've got more than one store, it will have them all there. And what it will do is it will take you to this screen. You can do more than one at once. But yeah, it's, it's, it's long-winded because it makes you fill out everything. Every single item needs to have a description and a product name. Sorry, I've got the uh, the wind inside me. Um, yeah, it needs to have a description and a product name. You, you won't get away with just uploading one design and describing it and it will fill it in for you, which is what I think it should do on this because this is the reason I don't like it. They want me to fill out a 70 word description, right? Most artists that I've seen, you know, on Redbubble and Teespring, they don't have 70 words in their description. So it's, it's not going to translate well to here. So we can only say as artists or, or designers only so much about our piece. Why isn't there a description half written there already about this glass tea light holder and how good that already is? Because it feels like they're relying on me to tell everybody how good this glass tea light holder is when I haven't actually bought the glass tea light holder yet. You know, I don't even know it. 
I, I haven't seen it, you know, so I, I, I think there should be a nice description in there. And I'll show you what the descriptions look like on the product page and you'll get what I mean and why I'm moaning about this. Um, anyway, so you'd call this, um, what I do is when I've got a, a, a list of 20 or so items, I, I start doing the old cut and paste. So I put the name in first, that's what they want you to do. If I take that out, it will tell you see it says there include the product type then the artwork title so I like to do that glass tea light holder and this is me um, shark ocean oh what have I just done there don't worry about that abstract and I haven't had a s and my O is not capital so there we go there's that and then I'm quite anal about having the same description. I use two different print-on-demand sites, Redbubble and now Contrado. So I like to have the same description in there, plus a little bit more to fill out the 70-word uh, count. So we won't do that just now. Just pretend I just did that. Okay, so you do that. And what I do like, actually, is the content quality. You check that, and it looks out for spelling mistakes, grammar errors, and... Um, it makes sure that your description here is different from other descriptions that you've got on other products, which I think is really, really good. Um, so anyway, moving on, you can click this, and what this will do, when you release this product into where we're going to put it, it will come up with that screen that we saw before that says generate more designs, and it will come up with the bomber jacket, the mask, and the espadrilles. So, so moving on, you'd select your collection, which works very differently from Redbubble, I might add. Um, so I and I I hate this at the moment about Contrado. You make one change to any of your collections, and it chucks them all out of order. It doesn't matter what you did or what you're trying to do. It just chucks them all out of order, and it makes things so hard to find. So they need to fix that. Shark Ocean Abstract. Save the changes. Put it in there. It'd probably get rejected because it's got gibberish in the... Um... Oh, did I check the box? I didn't mean to check the box. <laughs> it would usually take you here. And it hasn't actually put the sharks at the top. So we'll find the sharks. And this needs to be simplified. If you've got loads of collections, you're going to need to be strolling down for a long time. Oh, and... You see where the um, the tea light is now? There's usually a little timer thing that goes, it's waiting for approval. But because this is a single surface item, I think it, it's much quicker than, say, doing the hoodie dress or something like that. Um, which seems to be quite quick anyway, actually. Um, so we've got those, and the tea light's now for sale, but I'm actually going to remove it because I've chucked in gibberish there. So ticket, remove from selected store. Done. Easy as that. You can also you also have to describe your collections. You can't get away with not describing them. But since there's no tags that I can find on this website that you create, then that's going to be really helpful for you to write as much as you can everywhere else about everything. Um, this blue stuff, this is new since yesterday. I don't know what it means. Um, product left to design zero. I think that comes up when you first open your store and starts at 20 and then after you've done your 20th you have to contact them and then they let you start doing more but that didn't happen with me um, I chanced it and made my 21st and then nothing happened and then I just kept going so we're all good not sure what this means um, because I've seen stuff on Google of mine pop up at the moment um, so I, I don't know what, what that is. It might be the images. So, yeah, the, I haven't seen images of this pop up on Google yet. So it could be that. And obviously the commission is set at 20%, but I forgot to mention when we were adding that thing to the store earlier. Um, I'll bring it back up on the screen now. You should see on the right there's a little slider bar where you can adjust the price. So, yeah. That's how to add your first product. And um, we're going to go back into my products now. Because once you've done that, and what I like to do is say we've got 
um, I like to work in ranges, into in sections, because there's so many like items on this website, you you don't know where to start. So I've chosen jackets and warmer winter wear here. So it's a brolly to keep you dry, and and hoodies and hoodie dress, and a rain jacket and four bomber jackets with two variations, each for men and women. So what I like to do is, if I'm making a whole new range, I wouldn't start just by creating that hoodie dress. I would come down here, and I'd come down to the bottom, and I'd duplicate this, and then I'd change the design. Because if you've got the same dimension, this shark ad strap pattern isn't the same dimensions as that, but a lot of my dimensions are the same as the shark one. So if I was to make that again, I would just duplicate these products. As you can see, these are copy that's new that's come up. It didn't used to say that copy of copy of that's new. So they're changing stuff all the time. So yeah, I, I would make the whole range that way and change it. I can just show you quickly. So duplicate this. So you've got the same product now. It's not going to affect your original design at all, and I can show you the labels as well. Sorry if I'm gibbering on. This is the first video of this kind that I've ever made, and things are taking a little while to load. So let's go into the design. And it's saying good quality, but nothing is actually coming up there. So yeah, I would do it this way, and then change the design that way. Upload that. And then what it does that Redbubble doesn't do is it puts it in exactly the same position as it was before. Redbubble says it's going to, and it does on some products, but not every single one. This one will place your same dimension print in exactly the same. It will scale it up to exactly where it, the other one was scaled to, and it will place it in the position. It's brilliant. So moving on, something's gone weird there. <laughs> this thing is going down. So yeah, this is the label maker. It's usually on the end of everything you make. And um, you can upload... Um, I'll show you that in a second. You can upload your branding, but you can just make the label fit on there. And of course, there's that done. And you'll get to... This is a good example of seeing the actual pictures, even though you're not seeing the pictures because the product's broken. <laughs> I don't know what's going on at the moment. They've made so many changes recently. It's it's getting ridiculous. Um, so what was um? Oh, just quickly before we leave, you get to choose the different options, but the customer actually gets to choose these bits here. These ones, I'm not too sure if the customer gets to choose those, so choose a good one. Ribbon zip. That's new. That wasn't on there. See, it's constantly changing and choose the right thread color. And you can obviously add the label there. But we'll show you how to do um, the branding part. Because you can obviously, what I really like about this as well, brand name, logo, and you can type your own thank you message. But it needs to be longer because I had to put short URLs in there. Um, because the other ones just wouldn't fit because it's just not long enough. So custom label, I'm not sure what it's gone like that, but you saw it pop up in the in the other one just now. And um, that's what your labels look like anyway, and you can do all that stuff. So that's how to get your first stuff uploaded to this place. Um, I'm going to switch back to me now. So I, I hope that was... Uh, a a good insight as to um, how to get your stuff uploaded to Contrado. I know it's a bit long-winded and very bloated, but if you get your flow going, you can really get some um, good progress. Because I can't remember, I only started my Redbubble store on the 22nd of October, and I started this a, a short while after. It wasn't too long, but you can see I've already got 1,600 designs up there, so... It's, it's, it's easy as pie. Once you get going and you get your flow and you can cut and paste your stuff, you're all good. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.